The Anti-Asteroid Project Protection. Such systems are built into most spaceships, except for very light pleasure shuttles. Despite all its advances, the reliability of such a system is extremely low, and any damage to the shuttle puts it out of action. Come to think of it, that's for the best. If it were as reliable as large anti-asteroid turrets, every piece of debris in space would be a potential killer. Hello everyone, welcome back to Breath Edge. Yeah, so we have a ton of new goals. We've got anti-asteroid, install a filter system, install a navigator, and we don't have the parts for any of it just yet, so we just need to go hunting again, I guess. Now, what's the closest of these that we can go to? Probably those cows, I imagine. Yeah, we've come a ways, but uh, those cows are our next closest one. I think we encountered the voice clip for those just on the way. Oh, it's more of these, the little grazing sections of the ships. I remember those. It's a pity that we can't crawl out and get into those ourselves right now. Aww. I feel real bad for the synthetic cows. Yeah. They were just out here having a fun time, and it had to get ruined by by this whole catastrophe. Oh, coffin bot station, you say? Well, we can't have that. Ooh, you are a big fellow. Can I hit you from here? I readjusted my volume settings, and apparently I didn't adjust them enough because that is still real loud. Let's just take that right on down there. There, that's sounding a little bit more reasonable. At least to the point that I hopefully don't have to shout over it. Okay. Now, I have a feeling this thing is going to just keep on spawning bots on me until they get me where I get it. But on the other hand, I have to keep myself clear of them enough that I can get in close. It's a bit of a... Babe, I accidentally find a very dangerous place. Don't fly there! Great, let's go. <laughs> I also noticed that you visit all the places that I ask you not to visit. Am I mistaken? Don't you take a risk for yourself because of your stuff? Yeah, suit. I'd appreciate it if you stopped doing that. And then again, Babe was kind of, uh... We were in the middle of something, so Babe was being a little bit rude to us, too. But there's no way she could know. On the other hand... You, Suit, have no excuse. What the heck? Do I need to leave the target more or less? Come on, what's going on here? Are you presuming an acceleration of forward? What's going on, auto target system? Because I could swear I was dead centering that diamond there. I just think that the calibration is maybe not quite fully. The auto targeting is uh, maybe a bit off, but we're only level two, so that's maybe to be expected. Then again, I don't know if level is increasing our auto hit or if it's just increasing our damage. Heaven knows. We're a bit beat up. I think that before I go exploring that cow section, I'm going to go and get the ship repaired. But first... Babe, I also noticed that you visit all the places that I ask you not to visit. Am I mistaken? Don't you take a risk to yourself because of your stubbornness? I love when men listen and think. Don't fly there, I beg you. Hmm... Well, on the one hand, this sounds more like sane babe. On the other hand, this could be not sane babe going more manipulative. I can't it. It's a teleporter. If we fly through it at a certain speed, we can get to our station that we left behind. Oh. At a certain speed, you say. What certain speed would that be? Are we talking like Star Fox warp zone speeds? This ship kind of only has one speed. I hope it's the certain speed. 
Either way, I won't take a little bit of fast travel in the game. Okay, that was probably. We need to go a little slower. The wormhole didn't have enough time to form. Okay. I'm just kind of pulsing the thrust. Something's wrong. Try flying backwards. Perhaps the teleporter doesn't have enough time to collect enough ionic mass due to the conical shape of the shuttle. All right. It didn't work. There's a possibility that the teleporter is damaged and it doesn't have enough power. Perhaps if you fly and shoot at the same time, the plasma charges will collide with the positron grid of the portal, disperse it, and open the gateway. That sounds safe. You know, theoretically, the portal might not work because portals don't exist at all. Do you believe in any pseudoscientific nonsense? How on earth would there be a portal here? It's just some part of an engine. And our station has probably been destroyed by drifting debris long ago. You know? Honestly, I'm not even mad. That was actually a pretty good prank suit. Because, I mean, this is a world with FTL. Anything goes. How many levels there are? The documentation says it's up to ten thousand. Well, if there is a leveling system that goes all the way up, then I'm not going to complain. That just means that every kill is a bit of progress. And we're done, probably. For now. Hmm. A lot of little butts flying over in that area. Is there a station in that area? Either way, let's keep an eye on them. Make sure none of them come to visit. One of them's coming to visit. Anyone else want some? There you go. I can do this all day, come on. Yeah, the targeting system doesn't seem to... doesn't seem to cotton with strafing in reverse. I'm probably gonna have to get a feel for where my shot should be when I'm reversing away from my target. It seems to be calibrated for always forward action. Oh, I can roll the shuttle. I'm used to not having rolls. Huh. Okay, let's see if we can find a nice place to dock. This is looking kind of likely, except it's textureless. Interesting. It's it's coated in space smooths. That's that's the problem. Yeah, what, what's going on with this place? There doesn't seem to be a dock. And yet it's marked as a point of interest. Oops. Yeah, this shuttle's a bit more clumsy. So there's no dock here. The trees seem to be holding up fairly well for being, you know, spaced. What is going on with this area? Is there just... Is this just a pretty? It doesn't seem to have anything for me. I can't, like, scan it or anything. Hmm. 
not that I can tell, is do I have to shoot one of the cows? Will that get me something? Okay, well, it's disrespect to an already very disrespected being, but... Oh, why would you do that? Because I'm not sure what else I'm supposed to do here, Suit. Like, this here is looking like it's supposed to be some sort of docking mechanism or some sort of something, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. Well, I'm going to call this area a bust for the moment. Because I am blind and stupid, and I don't seem to know what to do with it. So let's just head on to the next closest thing. Another of those big spherical deep space stations there. And a lot of them seem to be kind of disassembled and used for wiring too. Interesting. Yeah, neat. The ice steroids can be split up doesn't really do anything for me but it's fun how about the standard stone asteroids can we do anything with those that's looking like a no Looks like it's one of the space military police modules. Their shuttles were equipped with the best defense systems. If we can't find a working shuttle, we could at least try to remove some of their armor and have to put holes on normal. Up to the turret. Yeah, I'm watching them, suit. I'm watching them get blowed up. Eventually, you find them. Hmm. I kind of don't like leaving that so close by. I mean, the cop and bot seem really angry at us in the prologue and framing device of this game. We might as well give them good cause, right? Sounds like a plan to me. If this goes on, we might get something important damage. Oh, hush, suit. I've been to the repair bay. It's fine. That doesn't seem to be a station. Come on, you. Yeah. This is just like shooting down a bunch of, uh, a bunch of those annoying fighter drones in X. When you're, like, committing a little of the old ultra-violence on the traitors. They, and they just fart out a cloud of little fighter drones to distract you. I hate those. I wish I had some mosquito missiles on me. We might as well get this particular module completely safe before we scoot on in. It has guns. We should... We should deal with those. Prove our guns to be the best. Only citizens should be armed, not autonomous stations. You aren't part of the militia. Alright, now let's see if I can actually find a dang docking port. 
Thankfully, I, I guess that the Normandy must have like a uh, must have like a big gulp and uh, and a set of fries or something, because I don't think my hunger and thirst increases while I'm piloting. Hmm. Yeah, definitely good that I made this place safe because I'm again not seeing an immediate obvious docking target. Ah, the ship has headlights. Lovely. Doesn't have a booster, though. And it's kind of slow. Missed a turret. Well, that's an easy enough fix. Just as soon as we figure out where the dang thing is actually shining its light from. Aha! And it looks like it was kind enough to guide us in, because these look likely. Yeah! These are looking real likely. Okay. Alright, let's see what this place has to offer. Uh, yeah, I've unloaded my inventory. It has a little bit of lag to offer. That's always nice. Thank you. Hmm. Apparently, we won't find any survivors here either. Yeah. I guess we really are the lucky one. Oof. I'm noticing that every station we encounter seems to have a little bit of food and water right in the entrance. I guess that's just... Just to reassure... Hey, the door. How unexpected. Yeah, I know. I know. It's a nice tinfoil door, though. So it's fine. <laughs> Back to gravity. Okay. Well, magnetism is not real gravity. Back to floor. That's what we've achieved. We have achieved floor. This seems familiar. Isn't it the capsule containing one of those ugly cow chicken hybrids that you irresponsibly launched to the surface of the planet? I hope it was empty already because there's no sign of the mutant itself. Oh boy. Well, at least we know where one of them ended up and we can we can take responsibility and just take care of the problem. I've got a blaster on my hotbar, right? Right. Okay. These tracks cool. don't bode well. Yeah. Sure don't. So if this happened after, ooh, that's what I need for the filtration system. All right. So if this happened after we launched all those capsules, then I guess there I were some how hard the blow was. survivors of the initial crash too. Jeez. This is... It seems to be the only way to get to the military shuttles. I suggest we turn back and try to find a safer place to loot. Nah, it's fine. Hmm. Okay. So I'm gonna need to install some anti-grav into this thing before I can... go in... Can't we just break the grav? But I, I guess that I guess that needs must. So let's see. Let's see. I, I I did pick up at least one gravity module. I'm sure that that's part of the crafting recipe. But it might just be that we've got uh, a new scavenger hunt to go on here to add to the already existing one. Anti-grav. 
According to the spacesuit, this thing should successfully power the gravity control system. As for me, it's just some kind of mutated battery. I wonder why we need to disable gravity in the technical ventilation passages at all. Yeah, it's nothing too hard. It's just those four gravity modules. When I'm fairly certain I only have, like, one. Yeah. That's gonna be a problem. But we did receive lycoplasma, which I think was the last thing we needed for the filtration system. Yeah. The filtration system. You can live on a spaceship without high quality air filtration, but n not very long. Tiny specks of dust, pieces of skin, nose hairs, and other things that are not very useful will not only prevent you from breathing deeply, but can also damage the internal systems of the shuttle, leading to a disaster. This has happened before. Not even really in the game. Yeah, that, that, that's a problem. That is a legit engineering problem. Well, we've got one part of the ship. We can finally just breathe easy. Huzzah. But yeah, I wasn't seeing any gravity modules in there. Let me just, I'll probably return after a quick cut of uh, looking around in here for any more. Any more gravity modules. Okay, after scouring the joint pretty thoroughly, I found two more gravity generators, bringing our total up to three. Still not quite enough to get what we need. Oops. What's that? Mm. Ah, there it is. Yeah, that's not quite enough. So, we need to go hunting somewhere else. But hey, we've got one thing up on the top blue now. I think I'll check out the cows one more time, see if I can find the thing that I was just... I'm sure it's obvious and I'm just blind. No, as far as I can tell, this place is completely useless. There seems to be nowhere to park the ship, nothing I can do with it. I'm... I don't think it's legal. O okay, what what did I... Did I just hit a cow? Is that what I just did? Well, we've done a lot of things that are questionably legal suit. I guess there's nothing for it but to just head on to the next place. Is that a repair bay? The automatic maintenance team compartments were located on the outer plating of the liner. No wonder they survived. Yeah, the thing closest to the crash is obviously the thing that would survive the best. That's how logic works. Normandy is ready for more damage. And we'll find a way to provide it, suit. Alright, let's just head on to the next closest beacon of hope. Oh, it's a giant According ice hole. To the number, this is one of the domed cooling modules. The extremely low temperatures overboard and the huge volumes of working fluids allowed the modules to maintain almost any temperature in the shell of the cores without unnecessary energy consumption. We could use something like this for the damaged core of Normandy. Hmm. Maybe we could scoop up some of this and bring it to the core that's, uh, well... An external docking airlock. You can get inside from here. Or rather, you could get inside if you could break all this ice. Well, I mean... It is chipping. Are we doing... You can dock now. Hmm. I did try shooting the cow zone a little bit, but nothing seemed breakable. Alright. Nice cool zone. Let's see what we can get up to in here. I have no detailed information about the liner's cooling system in my database, but I'm sure you'll have to find something and break something. Yeah, that seems to be how things go. Y you've uncovered the core gameplay loop of this of this entire adventure, I think. I wonder if you can call icicles icicles in zero gravity. Technically, they form in a different way, which means they must have another name. 
Orbicles, for example. Or, uh, expandicles. Versticles. Pressuricles. I don't know. I'll allocate one of my processors for generating the name, perhaps. Hmm. Water orbs. God, if I had all these electronics back when I was scrounging back in the initial zone, I'd have been a happy, happy boy. Okay, I'm, I'm going... I'm probably going to encounter that this door is locked. Yeah. Oh, is this music? I don't know what, but this music reminds me of something. Does it maybe sound a bit like FTL? Maybe. Whatever it is, I think this is my favorite track in the game so far. Other than, of course, the... Uh, the ba -da -da, ba -da -da, derp song, of course. That song just speaks to my soul on a very deep level. I have enough titanium. Hmm, chilled ice water. Very nice. Hmm, is that a car door? Eh. Ah, our old friends. Seem to be running across quite a few of them. Getting very nice supplies of everything I had very much trouble finding before. It looks like this is not a passageway leading to the dome, but a temporary storage module. I didn't know it was located in this part of the liner. Hmm. Well, a temporary storage module is fine by me. Yes, of course, now that they're giving me everything that I was having trouble finding before, they have to give me a whole new set of things to have trouble finding. So it is. These are temporary storage refrigerators. Everyone who was lucky enough to die during the flight on the liner was placed here, and according to my data, there were many of them. Wow. I, I mean, I guess that if you're gonna die in space, dying on a funeral, dying on a funeral, li funeral liner is the way to go. I wonder if the coffin bots have stolen them all for fuel supplies. And again, they've not been really adamant about taking up very many corpses. And they seem to be going after other power supplies. Maybe the corpses are just a suboptimal emergency solution. Cryo chamber, huh? Me. Touch the corpse. You have fun. Blunt force trauma to the head? Nothing interesting here. Yeah. I mean, it's Let's not... Let's hope the deceased didn't walk away on their own. Hmm. And this is the glowy red one, too. I wonder what's up with that. I wonder what's up with this refrigerator. Huh. Very interesting. The design of these refrigerators is not that simple. If I had more information, I could make a useful blueprint for Normandy. Hmm. What's up with you? Oh. Jeez. Yeah, I think that your space funeral is going to be a, a closed casket. It's not as romantic as a broken heart, for sure. I don't think I could pull the heart out, though, and I don't, don't have any reason to do it. Then again, I didn't have any reason to take the leg, either. Someone broke the refrigerator, froze the deceased, broke him apart, and then carefully put him back together. Very carefully, just like you. I advise you to throw this away before it melts. That sounds wise. Let's just... Yeah, yeah, good as new. It's interesting that they would have this many cryo chambers for accidental deceased people. Because I don't think this was a deep sleeper. This could be named in your honor. Just look at all the stuff it destroyed. Yeah, I feel kinship towards it. I don't really need alkali. At least I hope I don't. Oof. Well, we need to drag you out and get you to a freezer, Mr. Electrician. Cardiac arrest. A common reaction of an elderly body to G-Force. Hmm. I mean, to be fair to the funeral agency, he should know that going in. With ice further on. It's unlikely we'll be able to break through. Unlikely, but not impossible. 
You're saying there's a chance. Nearly loaded up. Let's just keep going in the hope that there's nothing else of consequence. Which, of course, there is. Yeah. Yeah, I need to go and offload. While offloading my great excess, I noticed that I had enough to craft the navigator. So, here we go. Ah. The ship can't make the jump without the navigation system and we'll never get out of here. I could try to hack the control system and jump without any coordinates somewhere in the center of a supernova, but I'd rather try and handle, I'd rather try and build a handmade navigator. Sensible. Okay, here we are. Back where we were before. More corpses. Fascinating. Hmm. You know, I guess instead of electricians, the foil could just be insulation against the extreme cold. Hmm. Oh, nice little tuft of chest hair you got going there. Yeah, there is stuff everywhere in this station. If I wanted to loot it all, I would need to just build a butt ton of suitcases over in the Normandy. I'm already up to two of them. The deceased has no pathologies or external injuries. He's healthier than you. Huh. Did he just die of... No, that's not, that's not a hairstyle. That's ice growing out of his skull. Hmm. Maybe he died of goggles. Yeah, he just squeezed his brain shut. Unless you're talking about this guy. This guy is a little bit sallow. Hmm. Yeah, sure, a little bit of plastic. I have a lot of cooling gel already. I bet I have enough. I picked up a ton in that uh, garage. Oh, <laughs> Amazing! I can't imagine how this happened, but by looking at the junction box in his hand, I can make a rough diagram of how to connect the refrigerator. Very nice. Very nice. Bring us solo. Yes. Yes. Looks like acute poisoning. Or stupid poisoning, as he ate a hamster. Looks like it tried to eat his way out. Yeah. Well, if he ate a hamster, then he certainly got poisoned by a cute. Uh, uh, yeah, nah. uh, I'll just show myself out. So... Is, is this just the end of the line? Can I bash anything open? What's going on? Do I just need to scour back through looking for that third refrigeration unit? What's... Huh. That looks like it's exposed to space. Neat. Yeah, that that's definitely the skybox I'm seeing through there, so, uh... I, I guess that... Well, we've, we've already seen the mysterious air field in some of the ships. Like, Grandpa's ship would, uh... And, and yeah, that mysterious airship that, that uh, you remember the captain's chamber that uh, it blasted off without us and started the whole thing with overloading the core or reducing its radiation to catastrophic levels. Yeah, that had a, that was just completely exposed and yet it had a pocket of air. So there's some sort of air shield technology in this universe, I guess, or the developers just were lazy about it. Either way. It, it counts either way. Hmm. Aha, I see a marker. Oh. I guess this is a chamber I haven't explored yet. Ooh. 
This is clearly not just simple steam, but something much colder. Although you could get under the dome from here. You don't say. L let's see first if we need to. If we need to expose ourselves to the... person with cardiac failure. I don't envy their funerary spacesuits. It must be so stressful for them. Hmm. Don't you guys have like a defibrillator or something? It seems like it would be useful. Or like some sort of pulmonary squeezer or something. It's hard to tell anything from these remains. Evidence. Physical evidence number 1206. Mr. S.I., who was arrested on suspicion of stealing a Phillips screwdriver, was taken to Unit 4 to give evidence. During a polite interrogation, the arrested started to behave aggressively and unexpectedly struck himself 840 times with an unidentified object in an area consisting of his entire body, which led to the instant death of Mr. S.I. Tragic. Ah, yes, that's exactly just what it says. This is a fairly common situation, which is a bit disturbing. Yeah. Seems to be related to insulting the guards. Must be a comorbidity. Comorbid behavior. Sudden onset insanity, maybe? Some type of seizure, perhaps? Huh. Well, I already have enough navigation chips, but why not? We'll see if we need it for anything else. Despite the damage, the nitrogen valve control unit in this refrigerator remained intact. Very interesting. Indeed. Well, now we just have a question mark marker, so, uh, Looks like sure. I figured out the general concept of integrating thermal control systems, even though I don't have an engineering chip installed in me. All that's left is to study the cooling system controller and figure out where to get the working fluid. Then we can assemble a cooling unit for Normandy. Simple as pie. Yeah, honestly, I've, I've made some pretty complex now pies. clear how to disable the flow of nitrogen. Okay, that's bad. Turn the A02 valve all the way to the right, then the three nitrogen reduction valves. Turn the B6 valve to the left at a 30 degree angle. Don't forget to depressurize the valve. Yeah, we're just gonna beat this thing, aren't we? Well, yep. or like this. All right, time to check the dome. Hey, it worked. We aren't going for a controlled shutdown here, suit. We're going for just uh, whatever we want. The cooling system controller Whoa. should be here somewhere. We're looking for some sort of a, uh, box? No, probably a computer, or a room, or maybe a data block, or a barrel with a button. I haven't fully studied what it should look like. Wait a second, this mosaic. So that's why your relative's face seems so familiar to me. A brilliant engineer, one of the creators of the core, and the father of artificial intelligence. It's him! Amazing! Are you sure you're not adopted? He is Grandpa, not Pa. It, it could just be... It could just be, you know... The crew was killed shortly before the crash. They didn't even have anything to defend themselves with. Hmm. We, we don't know who Ma and Pa are. They could be entirely just a, a different story. I have found a couple of gravity modules, so I'll have to see if I have enough to... Yeah, sure, I'll take some lycoplasma, just in case I need to make some more blasters. I noticed that it's enough for a human to get one hit in any part of the body to die, whereas coffins only die when certain points on the head and stomach are damaged. Well, not any part. I mean, you get the shoulder or the ankle, unless you manage to break an artery. Humans are a bit tough. It's just that the coffins are very tough, you know? I mean, if you had some sort of, if you had one of those, like, cardiac restart pulmonary pumps, then you could act as a tourniquet, and you could probably keep me alive through just about anything. And I mean, hey, how much beatings have I taken? Come on. Humans are tough, suit. You gotta admit it. Ouch, that must hurt. Yeah. I don't think you could do much for a hit like that. According to some sketchy fragments of data, I assume that it might be the office of your grandpa and his team. Did you know that he was supposed to be on board the liner? Well, on board in uh, a certain respect, yes. 
I mean, that's why I'm here. So... Ah, console. An employee pass is required. I wonder if a handy scrapper will do, or if you'll have to search the bodies. That would suck. Yeah. Not getting any option. Well, uh, got a new marker within 300 meters. That's probably it. Thank you, suit. Hmm. You want me to investigate these big balls? Okay. What will you give me if I put my tongue on it? Untreated wastewater. I wouldn't recommend defrosting and drinking it. So you're saying I shouldn't put my tongue on it. Analyze. Oh, okay. I have... I might just have just the thing for that. Solids detected. Solids detected. Okay. What's going on in here? Oh. <laughs> Victor Plotvichen. An electronic pass of a certain Victor Plotvichen. That's Victor Gennadovich for sure. Now I understand why his face seems so familiar to me. He often visited Grandpa on some business. Poor guy. I, I guess that he didn't die like that. He's just kind of... He's just kind of, you know, like that. Privilege access card number 001326, core cooling system for life and afterlife. The deceased well, is on the ship's crew list. I've checked. I don't know why, though. Well, that just means that if it's for afterlife, too, then we're just using it correctly, ain't we? Alkali? Nah, no thanks. I picked up some extra anyway. So anything in this one? Nothing of interest. Neat. Let's check it out anyway. Nothing of interest. Yeah, it's got some metal scrap in it, at least. That's kind of interesting. Hey, a desk chair. That's a little bit interesting. The fact that I can still breathe is interesting. You'd think that this would be an excuse to bring back the oxygen mechanic that's been kind of out of the game for a little while now. Well, regardless, we got the thing that we need... So let's see what we can, uh, let's see what we can see in here. It's a good thing you only need to pass from a corpse, but not the corpse itself. Yeah, it'd be hard to drag it through that not mayonnaise. Apparently your grandpa was supposed to fly as a crew member and monitor the Corps' activity. I wish I'd had a chance to talk to him. Yeah, yeah, that would have been nice. I think he'd have liked, I, th I really do think he'd have liked you, Suit. You've got Moxie. Grandpa would like that. At least that's my read all on him. Equipment was destroyed, and someone took all the data blocks. Well, how rude. Something tells me that this wasn't just a cooling. Someone's been looking for something here. I wonder what it was. This wasn't just a cooling control system. This was uh, possibly something else. Ricky? An old photo of my grandpa with his friend Ricky. While the grown-ups were drinking like fish, we seemed to get along pretty well with Ricky's grandson. Too bad they both disappeared somewhere. <laughs> nice. Looks like grandpa could outdrink him. Okay, I'll I'll drop something just to pick that up. Isn't this the brilliant scientist who disappeared with his grandson after claiming to have invented the portal gun? Possibly. Clay chicken. Oh wow. I loved the scope when I was a kid. I wasn't really good at it, but I remember this chicken turned out amazing. I ran to show it to Grandpa, but I tripped, and it got squashed on the floor. I started crying, and my Grandpa tried to calm me down, saying that this way it looked even better. And this made me cry even more. I 
can't believe Grandpa kept it. You know, it, it's kind of surprisingly sweet. Just how many things that... Like you... A masterpiece. Or rather, it used to be a masterpiece. Oh, it's still a masterpiece. It has personality now. But you really do get the sense that Grandpa really did genuinely love us, and it was mutual. It's a good family. Good family stuff going on there. I should rebuild Grandpa's shrine. As soon as I can get back to the old base. You know, fabric is rare enough that I'll take some. I think I have enough gravity modules already. And... wire. Yeah. I should go back and offload, but meh. Most likely, the liner's core was remotely controlled from here, but someone broke everything. Hmm. I think the controller must be here somewhere. Maybe we'll finally find out what's up with it. Here it is, the cooling system controller. I told you it looked like, uh, this. Yeah, cooling. I'm sure this is cooling and absolutely nothing else. Either the controller is broken or we don't have access. In any case, I only need to examine its internals, so I suggest using a handy scrapper. Yep. What could possibly go wrong interrupting this, which is clearly a cooling system? Just ignore all those prominences and electrical arcing lines and various other things that look like they should be part of a miniature sun. Ignore the fact that it doesn't seem to be hooked up to any of the cryo fluids or anything else. Okay, I see. Ignore the fact that uh, we've already passed some things that look like they're likely to be everything that a cooling system properly needs. Except for radiator fins, really. Yeah, all this system needs is some sort of thing to finally start venting the, the heat off to space. Unless the ship has one big heat capacitor and it just offloads it whenever we go planet side. Or we like offload it to a station or something. Which I suppose that maybe if we're just storing up heat in all the weird cryo fluid, that could work. Could be part of the refueling cycle. Enough damage. Hmm. I've made a blueprint of the cooling unit. You can feel how hot my logic board is. No less than 85 degrees. Fahrenheit or Celsius? You okay, suit? Uh, okay. It looks like I've got no choice but to touch the circuit board. I knew you wouldn't say no. It's hot, isn't it? Just like Normandy's core, which we need to cool down already. However, I have some unpleasant news for you. I found out where to find the working fluid for the cooling unit, but you are unlikely to like it. In any case, we will need a drill and moral depravity. Check and check. Uh, at least I think. Yeah, yep. It don't have much, but sure. It's going to be cerebrospinal fluid from one of the corpses, ain't it? Okay, I'm game. Yeah, so you presume a lot about my Mora fiber there. Like, you, you should know me better at this point. You should know this isn't going to be a problem. Come on. I can't stop thinking about your brilliant relative. He clearly worked here and designed many of the liner's systems. Could the accident have been caused by someone who needed his body or the data from his office? Hmm. Yes, that's right. The working fluid is inside of them in the area of the bladder. We really need it, but they don't. Well, we could just make yellowed water out of ice, but okay. Oop, wrong button. I meant to hit my brick so I could just make a little space in my inventory and... Uh, da, 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 da. Where is... Ah. It's the working fluid. No doubt about it. 
To be more exact, some of its diluted remains mixed with the shavings of the poor frozen guy. They filled the dead people with this stuff for deep cooling, but I still don't get why the liquid can only be obtained from the bladder. Well... No, I suppose that if it were just collecting from the corpse, it would probably be more likely to start building up in the lungs. Oh, neat shortcut. I like it. All right, I'm going to go and offload and get out of here. And we'll see what that cooling unit costs, too. I should be able to throw it together. At least, unless... Unless it requires way more cooling fluid than I already have. Hmm. Four units of working fluid. Okay. I need to make myself a new drill. Well, at least we're in the right place to go looking for it. This shouldn't be too terribly hard to find. Excuse me, sir, are you willing to make a donation? It's for a good cause, I swear. Okay, the cooling system. Controlling the core's temperature is essential for the stable and long-term operation of all systems. Without a reliable cooling unit, a long-distance flight will quickly end with the core shell melting down and the destruction of the ship which will be an unpleasant surprise for mortal passengers. That should work. When installing it, don't touch the core's shell. Touch it with uh, both my hands and my dick, you say? Got it, suit. Where does this thing go? Great, it works. At least now you won't get fried inside of me and smear my lining with your combustion residue. Yeah, that would just be a tragedy. All right, well, I think I should also have enough for the anti-grav. Okay, the anti-grav. According to the spacesuit, this thing should successfully power the gravity control system. As for me, it's just some kind of mutated battery. I've read this before. I wonder why we need to disable gravity in the technical ventilation passages at all. Well... We're just going to do it, and we are going to do that next time. Leave you on a cliffhanger. Xenomorphs, joy of joys. I am going to just restore my health, and I will see you in the next one.